All right, guys, we are in Rome. And this is where the vlog is gonna start, I guess. I flew in, I think it was about 3 a.m. Toronto time. <sighs> Face was like completely dead because I haven't had a coffee in a day. Took one sip of that espresso, bam, my eyes lit up. <laughs> but yeah, the streets here, uh, we're in Tra Travestere, Rome? Travestere. 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 That's what you say. That's how you say it. Travestere. Uh, Rome. So let's go on our adventure. <laughs> You already know, the first stop's gotta be food. My boy George recommended me this place called Nanarella for some traditional Roman cuisine. So we're starting off with the sweet and tangy uh, amatricana, which is the tomato sauce. And then we have the carciofo alla juadilla, which is a Jewish Roman dish, and it tastes a lot like chips, actually. Lastly, we have the cacio e pepe, which is just cheese and pepper. All right, now no vlog can ever be complete without an Airbnb tour. This is what it looks like in the heart of Trastevere. Look at all these maps of the different cities. And of course we got my city, Toronto. And even if you're from the GTA, you can still say you're from Toronto. <laughs> That's my rule and I stand by it. So this place actually had the best of both worlds. I like the whole remodernized uh, indoors while still having this traditional outer shell that we see here when I open the window and just getting able to see right into the street. Wow. All right, no time to rest. We are in a new city and it's time to explore. So this is the hill that you have to walk up just to get to the, to the fountain here. There's less people at it than the Trevi Fountain, that's why I wanted to come to it first. And you get the beautiful sunset that I just shot before, so I call this a win-win. It's like every corner is like a photo shoot, and it, it all looks so beautiful, I just want to stop and just take like a billion photos. But we can't because we got to keep moving, we got to go to see the next uh, Basilica. And, oh my god, oh my god, look at this. Imagine if I was just right here. Bam, photo, right there. All right, now that we came back down, look at these big doors. Who uses them? Who's that big? The priest probably used a smaller one to enter these basilicas, but who? Who uses the big doors? Life's biggest mysteries. All right, follow along guys, we're crossing the River Tiber and we're going into the heart of Rome to see the Pantheon. This was much bigger in real life. I was amazed at just how the concrete dome was able to withstand centuries of time. So to get into the Pantheon now, it costs around 5 euros and I recommend going in person and paying in cash. The cash lineup is shorter uh, than the credit cards and even with paying credit cards online, MasterCard and Visa cards don't really work. It's only domestic Italian credit cards that work. Just me appreciating the art here. Photo op tip, come during the night when the Pantheon closes, you get the door all to yourself. We're in desperate need of coffee and it's 7pm. Time to commit the coffee sin. Drinking espressos at 7 p.m. Let's go! Now, Piazza Novana is a great place to come. Uh, just to people watch or even get a nice portrait of yourself. There's lots of restaurants nearby and a lot of these cool fountains. Uh, great for photo op taking. So this next church is actually a recommendation off of TikTok and there's lots of people but I assure you this is worth it. Wait till you see. Okay, for this chiesa, uh, you have to actually come in the morning because if you look up, it's like totally dark. Oh, it's shined up now. Oh my god. It's working. Ah. So that's a mirror. 
you gotta put money in it or this thing goes black so they're profiting they're very smart but also very beautiful so oh look see it went dark and now they gotta toss a coin in and let there be light let there be light oh my god okay everyone take pictures <laughs> Still young, our legs still haven't failed us, and we are jet lagged like hell. Uh, passing this Trevi fountain, even with the huge crowds, I could not uh, miss taking a video. It's just that breathtaking. Of course, the most popular spot, the Trevi fountain, is super packed at night. We're gonna come back in the morning, but. I can't miss seeing this in the nighttime. I mean, without everybody here. These are the Spanish steps. Uh, Dom Toretto, uh, he drove off of here, did a 360 spin, and then we go that way. <laughs> Holy, it is packed here. You know, this actually looks smaller than what I imagined. Maybe because movies make like the stairs look tremendously, tremendously long. And now they won't even let people sit because the police are right here policing people to stand and walk. No sitting for photos. It is lively here today. I didn't know Ro Rome at night was this lively, but it makes sense. Because um, like the stores are all closed, but like look, the stores are all closed here, even the Dior's. Um, but. Like, everyone just comes out to see all these uh, ancient ruins, you know? Alright, time to take photos from mom. Alright, you guys know we can't go to sleep without dessert, uh, Gioletti most reviewed spot for gelato and you know what they say the more plain and less dressed up the gelato looks the better it tastes and these ones they taste very very good so that's cream pistachio mango cream pomegranate passion fruit Another midnight snack honorary mention, uh, Trapezino. It's the Italian pizza pocket. This one is chicken marinated in wine. Motto Delizioso. 